I'm uh, Lynn Staley, and I am going to speak on the decade of progress of Global Health Organization. I was a pediatric orthopedist at Children's Hospital for about 30 years. Now, currently, uh, Professor Emeritus of the UW at the United, at Seattle, and also the founder and the executive director of Global Health Organization. Global Health Organization, the HELP stands for Health Education Using Low-Cost Publications. We founded this organization in 2002 to provide free and relevant healthcare information. And we're now focusing on healthcare children, as children have the greatest impact in, in improving the quality of life that can last over a lifetime. The organization was created as a nonprofit. Uh, we've always been on the technologically cutting edge and using digital information. We're a very frugal organization and therefore survived the recession and other problems, which has really eliminated a lot of the nonprofits because of the recession. And we are non-commercial and humanitarian, and this enhances our credibility. I tried to think through the seven major accomplishments of the first decade, and these are listed here, and we'll talk about them individually. The first was our Clubfoot book. Uh, this was a media success. And it uh, went to around the world. And as you see on the right side, it was seen used in many different places in many different countries. And it's currently in 25 languages and used in over 200 countries. And it was also selected by WHO or World Health Organization for inclusion in the Blue Trunk at Central Library, the best books, which is a great credit to the organization. Second, we provided over 6 million publication downloads of our 150 or 110 publications. They're used in over 200 countries. And in our website in 2013 this year, we'll have about 8 million hits. And you see they're used around the world. And our, our website has progressively more uh, involvement or more hits, as you see over the years from 2008 uh, to the present. The third achievement was to achieve permission from major medical publishers to make the major textbooks available for developing world. These are the next to the last edition, which is certainly very adequate, and include these major textbooks, which if you bought them would be very expensive. We're also providing a DVD library for those without internet access, and they get over $3,000 worth of medical books all for just a dollar, and we'll include also our videos in the future. A fifth major accomplishment has been the publication of the Pediatric Surgery Textbook for Africa. Uh, 150 authors from many different countries created 155 chapters. That they're, they're very relevant for the problems of Africa and also using technology available uh, that in, in resource poor areas. It, has over a thousand pages in the printed version and two in two uh, volumes. It's also available free on our website to be downloaded in PDF format. And we've had over a thousand printed copies that have been distributed primarily in Africa but, uh, but really worldwide. And over three th uh, 30,000 whole book PDF downloads and nearly a quarter of a million chapters and PDF downloads that have occurred of this publication. Our current focus is on establishing a video library inspired by the Khan Academy. Uh, we, have, we plan to have a comprehensive video library on pediatric orthopedics. And the videos that recommend management that is likely to produce a good outcome with minimal risk to the child and expense to the family and society and could also serve as a curriculum for learning pediatric orthopedics. The YouTube videos uh, are available for worldwide uh, uh, viewing without cost and are also automatically formatted so they can be viewed on smartphones, tablets, laptops, and desktops. And for those without internet access, we plan to include the videos on our DVD library. The VDVD library is well, under, is well underway um, we have high quality, authoritative publications, and we've had over 7,500 views of our videos in the last few months. 
and we believe that doctors will gradually start using video education as a primary source of information. And finally, we're establishing partnerships, most recently with Children's uh, Hospital in Seattle, the Orthopedic Department, creating a video library. And we've also partnered with the Sustainable uh, Uganda Clubfoot Project, which was lauded by the World Health Organization as one of the best. And their booklets have gone to 20,000 in printed form throughout Uganda. And we're now doing the same with, uh, with the Bangladesh Clubfoot Program. This is in progress. And also we've cooperated with the Christian Blind Mission of Germany to translate the African Flip Chart Educational Project. So we're very pleased with our first decade. And we anticipate an even better decade to come. And I think our new partnerships and new focus will make this happen. Thank you for your contributions to this success.